I always said it was almost like having a second mum. Yeah, I was extremely close to my grandma and I learnt an awful lot of life lessons from my grandma. She had a, a big hand in, in bringing me up. When I was with my grandma in the hospital, it was a very unexpected illness and it was a very short illness before she, she passed away. Um, she had a team of nurses looking after her and the nurses were real sort of advocates for us and they stuck up for my grandma, they stuck up for the family. And I thought to be able to do that for somebody in a dire situation is amazing. It's just amazing and I thought I want to do a job that has that impact on people. I still had those events and what had happened in the back of my mind and I was still kind of processing and thinking about what happened and how can I become a part of that but I didn't have a solid idea. Every time I sat in an interview I just thought this isn't what I want to do with my life, this job has no meaning for me. If I want to get into a career that has impact on people's lives and I've got this idea of nursing in the back of my head. I've got to go for it, I've just got to do it. As a teacher now, on the course that I studied on, it's really important for me that the students understand what underpins the basis of nursing. And for me, it was just everyday communication with them, letting them know that I'm there for them, and it's, it's not necessarily that I'm there for them in the case of I can do a procedure for them, but I'm just there, I'm a listening ear, I'm a friend who understands what they're going through. And it's really important that you remember that everything you do is either about or for that person. That's what nursing is. That's good nursing.